Hello everyone, excited to welcome you to the Ace Show. Every business must deal with the concept of public relations at some point. From online reviews to general customer satisfaction, you're simply in the public relations business if you run a business that has to deal with the public. Dealing with negative news and events about your company is a part of public relations. Screw-ups happen. Problems emerge. Your company will never be completely safe from potential adverse events that could harm your relationship with your customers. What matters is that you understand how to handle these issues when they arise so that you can minimize damage and ensure your company weathers the PR storm. Today, let's talk about Tide, an American brand of laundry detergent manufactured and marketed by Procter & Gamble, which faced a major public relations nightmare when teenagers started consuming Tide Pods, a line of laundry detergent pods, as part of the Tide Pod Challenge. Let us also look at the sincere efforts made by Tide to douse the fire. A PR crisis may take several forms, including, but not limited to employee mistakes or malfeasance, natural or man-made disasters, or regulatory actions. While its effect may seem intangible at first, it can grow into a major issue if the PR crisis isn't handled properly. What's more, the advent of social media and a 24-7 news cycle means that bad publicity can snowball rapidly online, sometimes in a matter of minutes. All it takes is a poorly worded tweet or a CEO's statement taken out of context to lead to a storm of internet backlash and boycotts. Ultimately, customers and clients want to interact with businesses they trust. If your company is caught in a PR storm, it puts that trust in jeopardy. Best examples of PR crises come from two of America's most well-known companies, Facebook, when they had to deal with data privacy issues related to Cambridge Analytica, which may have affected the 2016 US presidential election, and Uber, when they struggled with internal issues regarding sexual harassment and hostile work environments. Like the examples we mentioned, many PR crises are self-inflicted, but from time to time, there are also those where the company in question isn't to blame. That was the case with Procter & Gamble's PR crisis related to the Tide Pod Challenge. To make things more interesting, so you understand the depth of the crisis, let us quickly go through the history of detergent pods. Laundry tabs were first introduced in the 1960s in a compacted granular form, similar to an oral medical tablet, by Procter & Gamble, with the launch of Salvo tablets. They eventually disappeared from the market in the 1970s. Carol, maybe a maid would help out. She can handle it. Mom Pam's a genius. I could come over, help with the laundry, no trouble. Is that a new shirt? No, Pam washed it. She used this. Salvo? It sure seems to do a good job. Oh, and tablets. Looks easy. Pam says it makes life a little bit simpler. Salvo. Uh, relax, Mom. No one takes better care of her husband. Oh! Hey, you two talking about me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Simple, sure Salvo tablets. Real help for the busy working woman. Unilever and Henkel launched a similar laundry detergent pack product in Western Europe under the Purcell brand, in the 1990s. That's a lovely duvet. What does your mum wash it in? The washing machine. What about a detergent? Those new Purcell tabloids. Why's that? Well, they're blue and white, and when she uses it, it makes stuff smell off holidays. The blue layer in new two-layer Purcell tablets has white guard to help stop loose dyes running into the whites, while the white layer gives unbeatable Purcell cleaning. So who makes the bed then, Mum? No! IKEA! New two-layer personal tablets. More cleaning, more care. Powder laundry soluble sachets were introduced in the United Kingdom and Europe in 1998 as soapy sacks, but were later rebranded as aquados. As per the Manchester Evening News article, the internationally patented powder was awarded the status of Millennium Product by the British Design Council in 1999. Reading from a research article, liquid laundry detergent capsules, also called single-use detergent sacks, Laundry pods, laundry packets, were first introduced onto the United Kingdom and French markets in 2001. P&G, through its Ariel brand, entered the market with liquid laundry detergent packets called Liquitabs. They are moderately successful. Organizing Christmas is no easy task. But with one concentrated aerial liquid tab, tackling a range of stains, it's that little bit easier. Cut and Wash Inc. introduced liquid unit dose laundry pods under the Drops brand in 2005. 
Drops is patented technology that puts liquid detergent concentrate in a pack that dissolves completely, releasing a deep cleaning, high efficiency formula that gently lifts the dirt away, keeping colors bright and fabric soft. And Drops works in all machines on all fabrics and colors and in all temperatures. So you just toss in one and you're done. Reading from an article on the Happy website. Back in 2005, Jonathan Proper, CEO of Cot N. Wash Inc. Philadelphia, listened to his wife complain about lugging laundry detergent bottles and measuring cups up and down basement steps. He knew he could find an easier way. Proper's aha moment led to the development of Drops laundry packs and the birth of an entirely new laundry category. P&G introduces Tide Pods under the Tide brand in North America. Tide Pods, a more advanced and smaller version of the European pods, become an instant hit. Tide Pod's most important difference is its revolutionary three-chamber design, unlike anything in the market worldwide. The three chambers help ensure that ingredients such as brighteners, enzymes, perfumes, and chelins remain separate until use, which they need to do to retain stability and broad-spectrum strength. These chambers have protection inside and out, with a new innovative film that provides strong durability when dry, but also dissolves quickly in water, even in cold, and in all machine types, including HE. Once Tide Pods enter the washer, the film dissolves in the water and the ingredients mix, releasing a powerful package of chemistries that keep working over and over to lift stains and remove them from the wash water, so they don't redeposit on the clothes. Tide Pods is Tide's most technologically advanced answer to consumers' request for a laundry solution that provides excellent results with minimal time and effort. In other words, Tide Pods is the reinvention of laundry. In a world where innovation and technology are constantly changing the way we live, one facet of daily life has remained relatively untouched for more than five decades. Since the introduction of liquid laundry detergent in the 1980s, there has not been a fundamental shift in how people do laundry. Procter & Gamble is determined to change that with the introduction of new Tide Pods. While the consumers widely accept the new pods as it made laundry easier, and less time-consuming, there's also a sharp rise in the number of laundry detergent-related incidents and injuries among people with dementia and children, who tried eating the pods mistaking it to be candy, toys, or a teething product. The Consumer Product Safety Commission calls on manufacturers to develop safety standards in response to large numbers of pod-related exposures being reported. A product intended to make your clothes clean and bright should not lead to a parent having to call the poison helpline because their child is in distress, said CPSC Chairman Inez Tenenbaum. CPSC has played a leading role in addressing this emerging hazard. We are conducting an investigation, we are educating consumers, and we are urging that changes be made that will reduce incidents and injuries. P&G makes all Tide Pod tubs opaque, placating critics who felt the clear case resembled a candy jar. In Pod's first full year on the U.S. market, they surpassed 10,000 exposures for children under 6. Despite multiple changes to the Pod's design, they will stay above that level for the next four years. Members of Congress introduced legislation that would force Pod manufacturers to make the Pods less appealing to children. The sponsors say they'll withdraw the bill if manufacturers make safety changes voluntarily. The industry and consumer advocates agree to safety rules for labeling and packaging individually wrapped liquid detergent laundry packets that all manufacturers must follow, set by the American Society for Testing Materials. The key points include Packaging for liquid laundry detergent packets should be opaque or otherwise mask the visibility of the individual packets. It should not be labeled with graphics that make the opaque packaging appear transparent or translucent. Each company is responsible for selecting an aversive agent for use in the soluble film of its packets that will elicit oral repulsive behavior within six seconds. Packaging should be difficult for children to open, and it should not be possible to open it by brute force. The packaging should display prominent warnings and symbols on its front and side or back panels. The secondary container and the individually wrapped packets themselves should also display specified warnings, and the liquid detergent packet should retain its contents for at least 30 seconds when placed in water at 20 degrees Celsius. Pod-related injuries hit their peak, with over 13,500 exposures and nearly 5,800 emergency department visits. All safety standards are implemented industry-wide. Tide introduces the new Tide Pods Child Guard Tub. Same cleaning power with a child-resistant tub. To open, push the tabs of the lid on both sides and squeeze simultaneously. Twist the lid counterclockwise to unlock it. Then you can release the tabs, remove the lid, and take out the Tide Pods. 
To close it, place the lid back on the tub and make sure it isn't crooked as you begin to twist. Then twist the lid clockwise until you hear a click, ensuring that it is fully closed. Always store up, closed, and away from children. And that's it. Done. Keep them up, keep them closed, keep them safe. Let's now take the side of P&G and look at all the developments to date. First, Tide Pods may not be the coolest of the inventions. However, they show how mature companies seeking to expand must take the disruptive innovation route. The development of Tide Pods took 50 patents, 8 years, with 75 technical resources dedicated to the project over time, 6,000 consumers involved in research, and over 450 packaging and product sketches. Did you say the film is alive? Yeah, the, it's alive in the sense that it's in constant exchange with the environment. With, uh, so it picks up moisture, it lets moisture through, oxygen goes through. And the detergent components also affect the film. They, they change the film properties versus the time it's, it's, it's produced. And if you're not careful, these, these detergent components can just make it insoluble or can make it brittle or, you know, dissolve it. Um, so, so that balance is very, very uh, delicate. Hmm. So you can put liquids in there which are of certain properties, but it is very difficult to put the ingredients that we need for cleaning and performance in, in the wash. Tide Pods, it's our most recent uh, innovation uh, in the laundry category. Right now it looks like it'll be about a half a billion dollar business by the time we get to the end of our fiscal year in June. It's about 7% of, uh, of the laundry category. And this is a single use uh, unit dose of product, just the right amount that you need to get your clothes clean. And it cleans equal to or better than six of the competitive products used simultaneously. It's the most concentrated form of laundry detergent you can buy. And because of that concentration, it's, uh, it's better for retailers because they need less shelf space. It's better in transportation because trucks don't have to haul as much water uh, around the country. It's better for consumers in, the, in, the, um, uh, in how they need to store it. And we know that if, um, if we can continue to sell Tide Pods uh, and get the share of this product up, that we can reduce uh, 20,000 uh, truck trips per year, which is about a third of all the truck trips uh, for laundry detergent. So this is better for the environment, not only in the truck trips and the CO2 emissions, but also in providing less effluent uh, into the environment. After listening closely to families who used Tide products, they understood they had to deliver a product that would place laundry in line with other practical innovations that have enhanced daily life. With Tide Pods, they looked at making laundry less of a chore. As envisioned, they were successful in making laundry easier, more fun, and more consistent. To this day, the pods are a top-selling product and are regarded as one of the most successful inventions in the history of consumer goods Mammoth, Procter & Gamble. Thousands of people have been using Tide Pods since its launch in 2012, and the average product rating on Amazon has been 4.8 stars. Second, the design factors that made laundry pods so successful, their compactness, easy accessibility, and aesthetically pleasing look, potentially became fatal flaws. Young children and seniors with dementia would mistake them for candy and try to eat them. This triggered a lot of pressure and challenges from various participants, such as the CPSC. Consumer warning tonight about a relatively new product that might be in your home. These small, colorful packets of laundry detergent, this one is tied, and as you can see, it can look like candy to small children who have been eating them. Once again, here's that laundry detergent package. And here's a piece of candy, bright and colorful. Even this container of the detergent resembles a candy jar. It's that similarity that likely enticed 19-month-old Isabella Sutton to put one in her mouth this morning. Hi. Yeah, they, yeah, candy, candy. I just figured they got into candy and they were eating candy. Only minutes after it burst in her mouth, she had severe vomiting and diarrhea. We've seen children that have significant vomiting, difficulty breathing, wheezing, coughing, and several had to be put on ventilators to help them breathe. Third, Tide took several bold steps to combat the pod-related exposures and made the required changes to the product and the package. They also urged people to cooperate by following safety protocols such as keeping the pods away from the reach of the children. 
Despite its continuous efforts, pod-related emergencies prevailed. It only takes a second for an everyday item to become dangerous. Tide Pods Child Guard Pack helps keep your laundry packs in a safe place and your child safer. To close, twist until it clicks. Tide Pods Child Guard Packaging. While P&G sat on a hot seat handling its existing list of problems, an uninvited guest, let's call it stupidity, knocked on its door. Let us unearth the Tide Pod Challenge, and the swift measures taken by the company to fight this unruly opponent, in our next episode. Stay tuned to learn more about different businesses and industries, different marketing strategies employed by leaders and executives, and the world of finance and investments.